Hey fellow tennis nerds, as you know from previous videos, I have been playing some um, clay court tennis in a local tournament here, kind of the local uh, championships of clay tennis, and um, it's been going so-and-so. One match I'm playing pretty decently, and the uh, next match I am all off and missing on all cylinders. So it's, um, it's a process to get back into competitive tennis you tense up and you start missing uh, far too much and when you do that you might go back into a defensive mode and you start pushing the ball and hoping for the opponent's mistakes and on a certain level that's simply not enough to win a tennis match the one who dares the most he wins so I've been struggling a bit uh, but it's been up and down I've decided to challenge myself quite a bit by testing rackets during matches uh, so in my most recent match I took out the head Graphene 360 Extreme Pro uh, without having hit it more than a few minutes and that was not really a great idea although the match was really tight and I lost in a match tiebreak it was quite difficult to feel free to hit out and be able to create the points in a positive way and instead you rely too much on trying to generate spin from the back of the court. This racket is very powerful, it's very spin friendly, it's not really a racket I would normally take into a tournament. It's also quite stiff so I uh, really had to, to stay back and try to loop in the balls and ended up being a bit too passive uh, although the match was very tight. So um, I will finish that review a bit later, uh, I just wanted to write some thoughts uh, and give you some opinions about this first venture into competitive play in a long time. Playing on clay courts is a quite different type of tennis than playing on hard courts, especially if you're an attacking player, you can't really hit through many opponents, so you need to be able to be patient enough to generate a lot more spin and to play with bigger margins and truly really try to maneuver your opponent and um, slowly, slowly win the points instead of relying on a good serve, maybe move into the net quickly. Uh, it's very easy to get passed by good players. So uh, I've been struggling a bit trying to find my game and find my groove on uh, these clay courts. Uh, they do have some weird bounces as well, uh, which uh, after you get a few of those, you start to get down on yourself. You start to complain about the court instead of being in a positive frame of mind and just pushing yourself to play better and to ignore those bounces because they happen to the opponent too. So it's been a challenge, still have a few more matches to go uh, and then another tournament starts on hard court. I'm much more looking forward to that, it fits my game style a bit better. I will also uh, record those matches if my opponents let me and I will share my experiences with you as that tournament goes along. So that's also a round robin tournament. We usually have a few round robin tournaments in Malta around winter time. Weather is around between 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Nice and sunny. Some winds here and there and some chilly wind. But uh, compared to Northern Europe, definitely a really nice tennis playing weather. So I'm still enjoying myself on the court, despite some challenges trying to find my best tennis on the clay courts. I would also not recommend to test a racket for the first time in a tennis match as it's probably the worst situation to feel the racket's benefits and to try to groove with a tennis racket as you can't really hit out. So that's another good recommendation but I wanted to see how far I could take this reviewing thing. But I'm enjoying myself on the tennis court, it's nice to exercise after Christmas, after eating and drinking a lot, getting back on the training path again and I will keep doing it now until New Year and hopefully start 2019 in a good way. Thanks for watching my tennis videos and uh, following Tennis Nerd. Every like, share and follow is appreciated. I hope you have a great day on the tennis court and I, unless I hear from you again I wish you all the best for 2019. Happy New Year everyone!